Welcome back to the ninth gym program everybody and today we're doing another BDSP guide go figure on Politoed today because Pokemon is pretty cool and it goes pretty well with Ludicolo obviously as this sets the rain and Ludicolo sweeps in the rain um, and we covered Ludicolo just the other day so if you know you want to check that out go uh, check that video out as well anyway Politoed pretty solid um, very solid Pokemon has great stats it has um, access to drizzle which sets rain which is currently the best weather in BDSP most used definitely as well it has really good Pokemon um, in the rain um, you have Ludicolo obviously you could have Kingdra as well you have um, Scizor as well which all are really good under the rain so very good um, rain stuff and then also a lot of players are playing rain room with Cresselia so that's another really cool way of going about it and Politoed can uh, take advantage of that as it's a pretty mid speed Pokemon um, kind of more so on the low end of mid speed so it works pretty well under under the trick room so um, let's go ahead and do a do an overview for the guy so um, that's I moved the wrong window I always move the wrong window where is the, the window there it is okay so, Politoed, water type, only only water type, which is actually really good in the, in the game, because there are a good bit of electric type Pokemon, but you can EV this guy for that, and there's not a lot of grass type Pokemon as well, making it pretty easy to EV for those Pokemon, like Breloom and Ludicolo, Rotomo as well, um, but that's a little lower on the end. Anyway, uh, let's look at these stats. So, HP at 90 is pretty solid, defense at 75 is a little, a little medium, and then special defense at 100 is pretty good. So, all around natural bulk, pretty solid. 90 and 100 in HP and Special Defense, respectively, are very, very solid. Hey, lights, you want to work? Should have gotten new lights for Christmas, you know what I mean? But, um, uh, yeah, pretty good all around, right? So, Physical Defense is, like, pretty mediocre, but you can EV it um, and make it pretty solid for, you know, the certain things. Intimidate helps a lot. You can have, like, an Arcanine or Hitmon top on the team. Um, definitely help some EVs. We'll talk about a couple damage calcs later, and you'll be like, oh, okay, all right, cool. Um, so, yeah. That'll, that'll be cool. Then for the physical uh, or the, uh, the you know, offensive attributes, 75 attack doesn't really matter. We're not going to be using physical attack ever on this Pokemon. And then special attack at 90 is pretty okay for a bulky all-around Pokemon. It's more so a supportive Pokemon. But Scald can do a lot of damage through um, with the rain active. So 90 special attacks, not, not bad. It's not bad. And then speed, 70, like I said, it's pretty slow, but that's okay. It's a, it's a bit uh, more of a middling speed. It's not very fast, not incredibly slow. So it can be used in Trick Room. It can be used without it. You can use it with Choice Scarf. There's a lot of different ways to use it. Tailwind makes it pretty pretty solid speed, but usually you're... Well, I mean, there, you can definitely have a, a Tailwind user on this team. So, yeah, that's pretty solid. Let's look at these trending moves. So, of course, the first three are going to be 80, 86... 80 and 80 percent so these three pokemon or these three moves are typically used on this pokemon and then we see a pretty drastic drop off here um into that 35 35 30 range 20 range so as you can see these moves are the flex moves this is what a lot of players are going in and out of using encore ice beam and haze all three are really really good use uh are really good moves and definitely makes sense to be used as the fourth move on here um typically you'll go for like your your stab protect and then dual stab and a move of choice, but we don't have dual stab, so only one stab. So Scald, Protect are going to be staple. Parasong is definitely on the majority of the Pokemon, 80%. It's, it's used just about as much as Scald, which is crazy. And then Encore, um, Ice Beam, Haze, Hydro Pump, Surf. All those are good moves. Um, they're all pretty solid. Surf um, definitely comes up for certain things. Hydro Pump, more damage. And, uh, and Haze is really good. So yeah, all those moves are really solid. Now, um, we'll take a look at trending partners, which I pretty much already said all of. Um, it's going to be Ludicolo, Scizor, Kingdra, Arcanine, Metagross, Cresselia, Togekiss, Pelipper, Raikou, and Breloom. All are pretty expected. Um, Pelipper is a little weird. You don't really want to need two, two rain setters, but you do need a rain sweeper, and you could have two. So Ludicolo, Kingdra, they make sense. Scizor makes the most sense as well. Um, Arcanine, you want to have a good fire type Pokemon on the team that doesn't need to just be spamming fire type moves. This Pokemon could just sit there and will wisp and snarl away, so it's pretty solid. But it also has Intimidate, which can really bulk up this uh, mediocre defense that um, Polytoad has. So it's pretty solid. Metagross also gets, you know, not that afraid of fire type Pokemon, and Cresselia sets room. So very good. Toki Kiss is on every team. And uh, Raikou, you know, Raikou has. Um, that's. Uh, oh, it's Inner Focus. Yeah, I mean, Raikou's cool. Uh, right, Raikou's cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's those Pokemon. And then let's look at some trending items. So we're typically going to be seeing Citrus Berry or Wiki Berry. 
Uh, it takes about 50% of the most used items here, but you do have some other options as well, some other berries. Um, you have Choice Scarf, you have Splash Plate, and Damp Rock if you're just looking to do a little bit more water damage. Leftover's not bad. Chesto Berry if you're worried about Spore, I guess. Um, but yeah, definitely definitely more so the um, the bulky items. That's usually what you're going to be seeing. Citrus uh, Berry, uh, Wiki Berry, Leftovers, all of those items is what you're going to typically see. Now, you might see a Choice Scarf build. We do actually have a Choice Scarf build today, so... It's pretty cool. And, of course, Drizzle is 99.859%. That's what we're doing. We're not going to be using the Water Absorb or the Damp. It's Damp. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, water Absorb's cool, but, uh, you know, big, the main reason you're using this Pokemon is to set um, Rain, which is Drizzle. So, Drizzle. That's good. That, that, that's really it. That's it. Um, boom. EV Spread. Trending EV spreads, uh, they're they're a little all over the place, right? So first off, we have like a mixed bulk spread um, with 100 here and 156 here. It's pretty similar to my spread, um, and then an all over spread, and then like a speed boy spread. So you know, expect like mixed bulk into um, you know like defense and special defense and HP. Expect that. That's that's really what we're gonna be seeing here. Um, anyway. That is it for the overview. Let's go ahead and look at these spreads I have today. So, um, like I said, we have one bulky normal spread, a good rain room spread. Um, this is the typical polytoad you're going to be seeing, and it's very good. Um, and let's explain it. So, citrus berry drizzle is what I opted for. I do like, uh, obviously, drizzle, and I do like citrus berry the most. It helps a lot with the beret loom calc um, because the bullet seed. Um, takes away a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then once it brings you down to that citrus berry range, it essentially gives you a free bullet seed. Um, so that helps a lot. You can live three hits, um, and you can live four hits with um, an Intimidate, which is pretty solid. I'll go ahead and show you guys that calc. So here we have the Breloom calc. Uh, 252 attack technician is going to be jolly almost not, you know, almost all the time. So uh, don't expect the adamant. Um, bullet seed three hits. We're living that guaranteed to a KO after the citrus berry recovery. As you can see here, it does 105, uh, 100 to 121 percent. Um, but because of the citrus berry giving us an additional 25 percent, we're guaranteed to live that. So that's pretty good. That's on three hits. And then if we switch this over to four hits, they're doing 134 to 164, 162, which is guaranteed OKO on four hits. But if we go ahead and hit it with that intimidate, boom, guaranteed to hit KO after the citrus berry recovery. Now, if they hit us five hits. Yikes, approximately 87.5 chance to Oko. So it's still a roll, which is cool, but they're probably not going to hit five hits, right? Like, this is all we can EV for. We could go all into defense, but then we're going to lose to the Rotom Wash and the Ludicolo. So I figure this is a pretty nice mix bulk spread. You you want to lay down and intimidate, but if you can't, and they only hit a two or three hits, boom, we're living. Easy peasy. So it's not bad. And that is the main damage calc. And then we also have the secondary damage calc here that's going to be for Rotom Wash. So 116 uh, with Modest. So a pretty heavy special attacking um, Rotom Wash Thunderbolt into our pretty bulky Politoed. It's hitting 12.9% chance to two hit KO after Citrus Berry Recovery. So here, as we're seeing, 54 to 64%. Pretty solid. It's a roll to even two hit KO, which is actually insane. Um,. And only a 12.9% chance to do a KO after the Citrus. Like, that's insane. So that's a very, very good calc. And we love to see it. Also, it's guaranteed to knock us to our Citrus Berry, which will most likely put us back to, like, 65 to 70% HP, which is going to be pretty solid because then we can take another attack pretty easily. And if they Fake Out and Thunderbolt, we're living. Like, 99% of the time, we're going we're gonna to be living that. So it's very solid, a very good calc. Um, I like this spread a lot. I think it's good. So, um, yeah, that's that's the spread. So, 252, 148, 108 with the sassy nature. Um, let's talk about the moves before I go a little more. Well, I mean, that was pretty much as in-depth as it has to go. Um, but, yeah, Scald, Encore, Parasong, and Protect. Uh, I opted not for Ice Beam because this set is typically going to be with Ludicolo, which will have Ice Beam. So, I wasn't too worried about that. I wanted to take more of a supportive role. So, Scald, of course, is the best Water-type move for this Pokemon. 80 power is pretty good, and under Rain, it doubles. It's huge power. It's doing a lot of damage, actually. Like, actually a relevant amount of damage. Nothing to scoff at. And then you have good um, all-around, you know, 
non-damaging status support moves like Encore and Parasong. Parasong is going to be really big here because you can Parasong and then protect some stuff. We don't really have very many trappers in the game this uh, in this format. What do we even have for Parish Trap? I'm, uh, or Parish. Uh, why can't I think of the name? Um, Shadow Tag. That's what that's what it is. Shadow Tag. So we're looking f at really just Wobbuffet. Yikes. That's kind of bad. But we do have the Arena Trap um, as well accessible. So Parasong, it's probably just going to be, you know, forcing out some switches. But that can uh, be pretty good. And you can take advantage of that pretty easily. Uh, Encore is really good for a setup Pokemon. You know, you uh, if you can catch a Garchomp lacking using Swords Dance, you hit it with an Encore. It's a useless Pokemon. Now it has to switch. And um, that's really good. And then later, if you can call out the switch um, on an Ice Beam, boom, that dude's dead. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, Encore is good. Pyre Song is really good. And um, Protect is pretty standard. Um, protect Pyre Song. If you have Pyre Song, you have to have the Protect on it because you're going to be going for some stally turns. Um, that's pretty solid. So I, I do like this set a lot. And I like the spread a lot as well. 148 into defense and 108 plus into special defense. Just, you know, pretty well spread um, damage between special and physical because there's pretty equal amounts of scary Pokemon for those um, in the format for Politoed. So I figured it's pretty good. Anyway, that is it for the first spread. The second spread, we're going to go a little less in depth in because it's pretty basic, to be honest. It is Choice Scarf. Um, which is kind of weird on this Pokemon, but I fi figured we might as well give it a go. So we're going to get 1.5 times speed, but we are locked to the first attack. So no dumb moves like Protect or anything on this because then we'd just be spamming Protect and that'd be a pretty useless Pokemon. Um, so I went for Scald, Surf, Ice Beam, and Encore. I felt like this was pretty good. Encore still, you know, essentially eliminates a Pokemon. So a fast Encore is really good still. Um, if you can hit a Pokemon on like a setup move or something or even like... Um, you know, just something that doesn't really matter at the time. It's pretty good. Uh, and then as well, um, Ice Beam, Surf, Scald. Pretty basic, I think. Scald makes a lot of sense here. You could switch this with, like, Hydro Pump if you want, but I just, like, don't believe in the accuracy. Um, Surf, I know how also, um, you know, it, it hits every Pokemon, so it's also kind of weird. But I think it's it's pretty solid. And when you have it next to, like, a Ludicolo, like, who cares about the damage, right? So it's pretty good. And then Ice Beam... Makes sense. We're just doing a lot of damage with, like, Choice Scarf to his, uh, uh, Politoed. So then for the spread, of course, since it's uh, Choice Scarf, we go all into our offensive stats. So 252 into Special Attack and Speed. And then also Timid Nature. Honestly, this probably doesn't even need to be Timid Nature. But one point th or 135 times 1.35. What is that? Quick maths. 17, 57, 67. Add it onto that. 41, 201. Pretty fast. That's pretty fast. So that's that's really what it what, what we got. Choice Scarf, we got a fast Politoed and a and a strong drizzle. Politoed, offensive, Choice Scarf, Politoed next to a Ludicolo. Um, that's also doubled speed, is incredibly fast. A lot of pressure. Two really, really fast Pokemon that are doing actually pretty solid damage, especially with the rain. Pretty good, but easily counterable because if your opponent can like just bring out something that resists the the ice, water, and grass, they're not worried at all. <laughs> like literally at all. So it's counterable. But when it's not countered, this is insanely strong. Actually insane. Um, but definitely I would opt for the first one most times because it just makes sense. This plus Ludicolo plus Cresselia plus Scizor. Boom, you have an instant four easy peasy um, team. It works pretty well. Rain Room is probably the most frequently played team currently. And for good reason. It's very strong. Anyway, that is it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. Um, click all the links in the description as always. And um, have a great week. Goodbye.